Hi everybody, this is Heather Coleman, intuitive medium, spiritual guide, energy and Reiki practitioner and yoga instructor. And um, today what we are going to do, and I'm so excited for this, we are going to put into practice what we have been learning about the five elements. Now we are all made up of these five elements and most people tend, generally speaking, to be, let's say, heavier in one certain element than others. Like I'll use myself as an example. I'm an Aries and I tend to be high in my fire element. So balancing our elements is very important for focus, integration, optimal health. And in fact, yoga, when it was created, originally included these hand positions or mudras that we're going to do today to activate and balance our five elements. So if you haven't seen last week's video about the five elements, I encourage you to check it out. It's titled The Five Elements in Your Health. Check that out, learn a little bit more about this. Um, but even if you haven't, what's amazing about these mudras, these hand positions, is that you should feel the balancing of the element with these. So um, each of the five elements is associated with a certain finger in our hand. And I have selected mudras today that are specifically going to help us remember which finger is which. So we're going to start with our element of earth, our sense of practical security. Um, element of earth, and I'm still learning, so I'm looking at my cheat sheet. I'm going to show you the cheat sheet right here. So the element of earth is associated with our ring finger. So our mudra is called centering. And what we do is we bring our ring finger to touch our thumb. Now, you won't be able to see my hands the entire time, but what we're going to do is extend those hands, ring finger touching the thumb outward, and I'm going to give you a affirmation to use with this mudra, with this hand position. Present to my body, I am perfectly centered. Present to my body, I am perfectly centered. Again, we want to make sure that we've got that contact with our ring finger associated with our earth element. We're going to go right into our next mudra, which is our water element associated with flow, um, flow through our body and flow through our thoughts, our water element. And the, the name of the mudra is flow. And so we went from our ring finger to our little finger into our water element mudra. Balance and flow accompany all of my transitions. You're going to want to place your hands in your lap. Balance and flow accompany all of my transitions. Balance and flow accompany all of my transitions. So again, that hand position looks like this, little finger to thumb, and that's our water element. Next is going to be our fire element. This is going to be associated with our creativity, our drive, ambition, and self-confidence. Our thumb is associated with our fire element, and so our mudra is called commitment. And what's really cool about this particular mudra, this mudra also overlaps directly with our solar plexus chakra. So this is a powerful mudra because it is going to open and balance your fire element and your solar plexus chakra. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand thumbs up right in the left palm, and right in front of our belly, so just above our belly button, you're gonna hold that mudra. So right thumb up, left palm underneath. Here's our affirmation. I align awareness, focus, and commitment. I align awareness, focus, and commitment. Awesome. Moving right along to our air element. Air element is going to be associated with our pointer finger, index finger, and I love this mudra because, again, trying to help everybody learn those fingers, because I know that's taking a while for me. We're going to keep that index finger up, and we're simply going to tuck the, let's see, we're actually going to put the middle ring and pinky fingers touching the thumb. So those touch, that one comes up, both hands. And with this mudra, especially more than any other, seriously, Put your hands wherever you want. If you want to go up into the air, good for you. If you want to go in front, cool. If you want to go in back, if you want to go down toward the floor, you can walk around with this one. I have found this mudra called Hamsi Mudra is so versatile. So here is your affirmation. 
I move through life with lightness and joy. I move through life with lightness and joy. I move through life with lightness and joy. And again, index fingers associated with that, um, that air mudra. Now, moving on to space, um, the difference I like to tell people between air and space is think of air as our air. Think of space kind of like outer space, ether, expanded consciousness. Um, this is actually my favorite mudra for this. And I selected it because it helps us remember the finger, which is going to be that middle finger, because that's literally what we're going to do. We're going to touch that middle finger to the thumb. And Again, wherever you want with your hands, I find out to the sides at lap level works best for my, most of my clients, but you can go lower or higher. You can also move around with these mudras. You can sit, you can lay down, you can take a walk doing these. So whatever's working for you. Now for this Akasha mudra, it's called Akasha mudra. Here's our affirmation. Spaciousness allows me to open to new possibilities. Mudra looks like this, middle finger, thumb. Spaciousness allows me to open to new possibilities. Spaciousness allows me to open to new possibilities. Now, quickly, we're just going to flow through those mudras again before we do an integration one. So earth element, centering, we're going to do ring finger to thumb, centering or prithiv prithivi mudra. I'm still learning my Sanskrit present to my body, I am perfectly centered. Right into our water element flow, little finger to thumb. Balance and flow accompany all of my transitions. Right into our fire element, solar plexus chakra, right thumb up in front of the, the belly. I align awareness, focus, and commitment. Shiva Linga Mudra, fancy. Lightness, our Hamsi Mudra. So three fingers touch the thumb, index fingers up. I move through life with lightness and joy. I always want to do this when I do this mudra. I move through life with lightness and joy. Space mudra for spaciousness specifically. That is middle finger to thumb. Hands really wherever you want. I find lap level. Akasha mudra. Spacious, spaciousness allows me to open to new possibilities. Now finally, what we're going to do is integrate all of those elements. Integration mudra. This is actually my favorite. The only thing, uh, and again, this all depends on you and what works best for you. This, in fact, is taught like this with the thumbs up and the hands down. Well, it's a little hard to do. Let me stand up, actually. So like that. However, I have always taught this like this. So what I'm going to say today is make your dome shape. That's the way I like to teach us. You're making a dome. Now, if you're comfortable with an upright dome as I am, awesome, awesome. If you want to bring your mudra lower, go ahead. There's no right or wrong. Hakini mudra, and here's our affirmation. I honor the divine union of body, mind, and spirit. Isn't that beautiful? I honor the divine union of body, mind, and spirit. I honor the divine union of body, mind, and spirit. And I love this because all of those fingers are connected. So quick recap, which finger is with which mudra? We've got earth, which with our ring finger, earth, water, fire, air, and space with our middle finger. So everyone, I hope you got something helpful from today's video. And just know that if you attend an angel circle with me. Quite often we incorporate these mudras right into the meditation. Also my energy work sessions quite often include these and of course if you request to be taught mudras we will absolutely do that. So I hope this has been enjoyable. I think um, I thank you for being here with me everyone and namaste. Oh and you know what when I today this is a mudra. Reverence for the third eye chakra and you know what? This happens to be, I, I like to tell my yoga students, the only mudra that seems to have made it these 5,000 years. But whatever the case, this mudra was like a bonus today, right? So namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here.